Good morning, family. Thank you so much for joining me here today at Midweek Motivation. And today I want to talk to you about something that is truly uh, embracing of the potential to transform our lives. And that is the process of making changes to our habits in a way that we move closer and make progress toward our success. So we're going to focus on success habits and this will be about breaking habits that are holding us back, that are not good for us and instead incrementally moving toward habits that can transform our lives and take us in the direction of success and progress instead. And stay on till the end of this video because I'm going to talk to you about some important books and publications available both in audio format as well as in, in hard copy, which are founded on the evidence of how incremental uh, m difference and incremental movement in the direction of positive habits has the potential to transform our lives and move us to success. And uh, there is plenty of science and there's plenty of evidence, both at the practical as well as the research levels that point to this. So I'm going to talk to you here about five important habits that can transform your life and can move you toward success. The first off is the importance of continuing to learn. And I know this isn't the first time you're hearing me talk about this. Uh, there's been plenty of talk out there, even on YouTube and several other channels and websites that focus on self-improvement and self-education. And I can't emphasize enough the importance of continuing to learn. And if we make a part of our lives uh, and put aside, like say a few minutes, maybe 20 to 30 minutes every single day to focus on learning, whatever it is that, you know, uh, is our area of passion or the direction we want to take. Uh, and we were to be able to educate ourselves around those issues on a regular basis, we will continue to make progress. And, um, you know, uh, YouTube, for example, is a fantastic uh, platform and channel that allows us to learn the many things that we want to learn. So I'm going to ask you to pause this video right now, write down what it is that burns you up, that you're passionate about, and start to integrate in your life and fit into your schedule, put it down, put it down in terms of when and where and how you're going to learn and put that in your program and your agenda for every single day so that you are able to make progress in the direction that you need to make. And and I'm, I'm going to say this again, and I, I know I've said it in previous videos before, that you know our education system is not one that allows us, uh, and I'm talking about the traditional education system, is not one that allows us to make progress in the way that we can actually strengthen practice. So focus on educating yourself around things that you can actually practice. And there are several tools and technologies out there. Uh, the internet is one of the biggest ones, but there's so many platforms. And I'll, I, and if you want me to, please put down in the comments, I will create a separate video on online courses and, and channels that you can use to focus on self-education. So that's one of the first things I'm going to put down there. The second one is to focus on your strengths. And again, going back to just the way that our lives have been made up, we're always forced uh, to look at things in terms of how we can strengthen areas that we are not per perhaps that strong in instead of focusing on things that we are already strong in and strengthening those further. So I'm going to ask you today to kind of reconfigure uh, and re-engineer your thinking and start focusing on things that you're strong in. Build on your strengths and strengthen them further. Get better at it, get smarter at it, get faster at it, rather than focusing on things that you're not inherently made to do. So instead of focusing on things that are quote-unquote your weaknesses, focus on what you are able to strengthen that you can get the best at and try and become better and better and better and then the best at what you're capable of doing that you were born gifted and talented to do. The third thing that I'm going to ask you to do is to focus on 
who, not how. And again, I'm going to say Dean Graziosi says oftentimes and has been teaching us this, that the how is something that can often become so daunting that we are not able to make progress. We're not able to go forward. So, you know, if I, if your decision is that I want to, uh, to, to set up a, a side hustle uh, and a business where I'm able to uh, continue to make a passive income or I want to set up an enterprise or I want to buy a home, uh, oftentimes if we don't have the obvious means at that moment in time, what we get stuck thinking about is, oh my God, how am I going to do this? You know, how am I going to get into this business? How am I going to set this up? How am I going to mobilize the, the funds to buy a new home? How am I going to do this? So instead of how, focus on who and bring in the people who have the expertise to support you in achieving that goal, whatever that goal may be. And there are people out there who have the ability to to bring in the area of expertise that you need in order to be able to achieve that how. And yes, you could turn around and say, hey, you know what? I don't have the financial means to bring in the who, who's going to help me uh, achieve whatever it is that uh, that your goal may be. But uh, you'd be surprised uh, that there are people who are willing to collaborate. And if we open our minds to uh, looking at possibilities that may be even outside the box, uh, there is a you scratch my back, I scratch yours type of approach where we we support each other. And if you do this for me, I'm able to do that for you. Um, and, and you'd be surprised, but people are willing to, to help out. And so I'm going to say the third more most important thing um, is to... Focus on who and not how. And I'm looking at I'm looking at my notes here, where I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I uh, am, I've put down here, all with an intention to help you guys out. And I hope that you find these points uh, helpful. And and feel free to write in the comments below uh, if you have specific questions. I will respond to you. I'm moving on to the fourth point, which um, again is something that has been. Uh, spoken uh, about uh, at great length, but oftentimes we hear it and then we don't act on it. And that is to set a vision, not goals. So there's no way for us to succeed if we um, do only keep focused on goals uh, and, and don't have a vision. And there will be things that will stop us uh, because, you know, we'll get tired or we won't see results or uh, for whatever reason, we're not able to implement the steps uh, to achieve our goals. Or guess what? We may not even put down the steps that we need to achieve our goals. And what do we do? We give up. That's what happens. So unless you have a vision, um, goals have no real meaning. So I'm going to ask you instead, flip again, re-engineer. And I'm going to say over and over and over that a lot of these success habits are about re-engineering our thinking and our mindsets. And really it is about setting the right mindset. So re-engineer your thinking and your mindset about the whole idea of goals and instead think of a vision. What is your vision? What is your vision for this day, next year? And then when you set yourself up for that vision, and then you look back today retrospectively, anticipating the year has gone by, what should be those goals, those milestones, those steps then to achieve those goals? So set out a vision. What is the larger picture that you envision. And I'm going to say again and again and again the, that start to really envision. I mean, you may not be a visual person, but if you start to um, actually train your thoughts to achieve, to visualize, to, to imagine that vision coming true, that vision is going to come. That vision is going to turn into reality. So I'm going to ask you now to think back on your year from today and what that vision is and devise your goals and your action steps in order to achieve the vision. But it's not possible to come up with resolutions on the 1st of January and uh, and expect that they are going to come through unless we have a vision. And it doesn't matter what day of the year it is, 
really the only way to achieve what we set out to achieve is to set that vision. So that is the fourth important success habit I'm going to ask you to focus on this year. Uh, and then finally, uh, again, something that perhaps we've heard before is to have a not to do list. Have you ever felt, um, you know, that 24 hours in the day is just really not enough for me to get ahead? Um, no matter what it is, I need 36 hours or I need 48 hours or I need 72 hours. You know what? The reason is we're setting uh, ourselves up for failure automatically. The moment we start to set up a to-do list, which really we're not going to be able to accomplish because we uh, start doing things again that we should not be focusing on. Perhaps somebody else should be focusing on several of the items on that to-do list. So I want you to now set up a not-to-do list. And maybe that's really contra uh, contraindicated uh, in your traditional sort of mindset because we're so set up to say, okay, fine, so here are all the things I need to be doing, but instead I'm going to ask you, set up a not-to-do list so that you don't end up focusing on things you shouldn't be focusing on and you're left with plenty of room, effort, energy, and passion to focus on what you really should be focusing on. And you will find the moment you do that, that you automatically are able to focus on what you need to be focusing on and you will accomplish those goals. So that those are the five key success habits I'm going to ask you to embrace in your life. Again, I'm going to go over them summing up. Don't stop learning. Our self-education uh, system today and access to tools and technology allow us to really get ahead. So figure out what it is you want to learn. Learn on a constant basis. Two, focus on your strengths. Move away from things that are not your strengths and start to hone in on, invest uh, in things that you can do well and are your strengths. Focus on and emphasize the who, not the how. The how can get daunting, can hold us back and stall us in our tracks. So focus on who, bring in the expertise and you focus on what you do best. Four, set a vision, not goals. Being, be able to, to establish that larger vision for yourself and then develop goals and action steps. And they may move and they may change, but the vision should be something that you get after. And number five, have a not to do list so you can focus on things that you really should be investing on rather than things that divest you, that take you away from what you really should be focused on. So there you have it. And those are the five absolute um, ultimate I believe strong success habits that will get us ahead in our lives and I'm gonna uh, as I mentioned um, right in the beginning that there are several there are several pieces of research there's a lot of um, evidence based on practice and has been documented published and we can definitely benefit from those and I'm gonna uh, talk to you about some of the key publications the most recent ones that I think you will be able to benefit from if you were to uh, to be able to access. So yes, they are available on Amazon and I'm providing the links below to some of the publications both available on uh, Audible as well as in hard copy um, and hardcover format on Amazon. So I'm providing the links below. You can use the links to, uh, to access these publications. The first uh, one that I'm going to talk to you about is something by James Clear. Uh, he's a, a well-known coach and has done a lot of research. He talks about his life and the importance of um, making incremental changes in our lives to adopt positive habits, breaking those that stall us and hold us back. The name of the book is Atomic Habits. It is a New York Times bestseller, available both on Audible as well as in hard uh, in hardcover format of on on Amazon. So the book is Atomic Habits. Great book. I would ask um, all those who are trying to make changes and adopt success habits to have a look at this. And again, you can use the links below to to buy those books on Amazon. The, uh, the second one that I'm going to talk about actually really focused heavily on practice. 
is A Millionaire Success Habits by Dean Graziosi, a New York Times bestseller, uh, has done brilliantly, is available on Amazon and I'm providing the links below, so please feel free to access it. He's also come out with another book uh, called Underdog Advantage and is a new book doing very, very well, New York Times bestselling author, Dean Graziosi. I provide the links below, so please uh, feel free to access uh, these publications using the links uh, that I provide below here. Now, I'm gonna say if you uh, are benefiting from these videos, please do like, share, um, you know, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the notification so you don't miss another video. I'm gonna keep bringing these on. I am gonna ask you before we go today that um, here's my question of the day. If you have practiced or made a change in your habits that you have found has headed you in the direction of success, please do share, provide comments below. I will definitely respond to you. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. But again, do share your habits. So here's your question for today. Please do provide some examples that will benefit us all as a community. So thank you all once again for watching me and I look forward to seeing you at Midweek Motivation again. See you soon. Thank you and have a great week.